we thank God for this great opportunity to stand on this 10th day of September, a day that has been allocated for our ministry day. I'm going to ask you to turn your attention to the book of Ezekiel, that same 36th chapter. We're going to look at three verses of Scripture. Verse 25, 26, and 27. Ezekiel. You have it saved, man. And I know you've heard me say in the past, I'm not going to be long. But you can fact check me with your watch. Amen. We have Amen. preached once this morning already. Amen. And we gave what God gave us. Thank you, Lord. We're going to preach the full counsel that He gave from this text. Amen. Then we're going to come back and be here with Pastor Holland and Calvary. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to stay awake. It's like being in a small city. You can blink and miss it. Amen. Ezekiel 36, verses 25, 26, and 27. This is what it says. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filth. And from all your idols will I cleanse you. Yeah, yeah. A new heart also will I give you. You should have said amen. Y'all be quiet. Y'all scaring me. The Lord said, and a new heart will I give you. Yeah. A new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away your stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. You see that? Let's close with this verse here, 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. And ye shall be my judge and you shall keep my judgment and do them. Thus saith the Lord. God, we stop now to say thank you. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, you would reveal the assignment to your stewards. Yeah, yeah. Teach us, oh God, how to be better stewards. Yeah, yeah. Equip us with the things necessary to have a responsible relationship with you. Yeah. Lord, we thank you in advance for answered prayer. Yeah. Now, Lord, we stand to declare that the grass withers, yeah. the flower fades, yeah. but the word of God is eternal and everlasting. Yeah. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 May take your seat. We have been studying and studying and studying. We're on this journey of a lifetime. Most of us who have been attentive to the lesson, you're familiar with Ezekiel. It is not a foreign subject to talk about the priest prophet Ezekiel. We are aware of the tribulations and trials and turbulence that was in his life. Here he is, a captive, and taken out of the holy city of Jerusalem amen. and is taken into captivity in Babylon. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. And still holding true to his responsibility uh, to God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as we think about that, it should bring us to a place of question about our very own responsible relationship, Sister Hodge, with God. Yes, How responsible am I yes, yes. to my relationship with God? Right. If, if Ezekiel can be in captivity and still handle his assignment, yes, and I know that we being people of the African diaspora, with African American tendencies, with Negro legacies, we sometimes feel like we're still captive. Right. 
But, but I stand to declare this that my body. Yes, sir. Paul Hart says, who the son makes free. Ah, Come on up here. Say, they are free indeed. My Bible says, where the spirit is, there is liberty and the captives are made free. Are you here with me today? It's not that warm, so, and I'm not going to be long so we can stay warm. I want you to think about this, what God is saying to Ezekiel. God is showing up as he's getting ready to close this great book in a few chapters and he's telling Ezekiel mm -hmm. something that I want you to understand. Here's the first point because I'm really going to get you out of here. If you're still here, sitting here at 12 o'clock, you will be sitting here fellowshipping. <laughs> the first point I see is the promise of cleansing. You see that? It's right there in verse 25. It says, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. Wow. Uh -huh. And from all your idols will I cleanse you. This is God speaking to his people. If anybody has the right to be able to tell us that our lives are out of order, it's the creator. I, I, I believe we should not be so resistant of hearing God when he says, you are the one. I, I believe God knocks on the heart of the Christian frequently and insistently and perpetually telling us it's late in the evening yeah. Yeah. and it's time to get our lives right. yes, I, I believe every time storms brew in strange places, uh -huh. God is saying, I'm on the way. Yes, I believe every time mothers and daughters are bumping heads, God is saying, I'm on the way. Yes, every time sons and fathers are in physical altercations, oh, I believe God is saying, I'm on the way. Amen. Every time that God knocks on our heart of our door, he is there because he loves us. Yeah. My Bible says, he says, behold. He says, look at here. I stand at the door and knock. And if any man heareth me and let me in, I will come in and suck with him. But look what he says, before I come in, I need to clean you up. And, uh, uh, the promise of cleansing. I'm, I'm glad God don't leave me with a dirty pamper. I don't know. I might have a dirty pamper because sometimes when I look at y'all, y'all knows we turned up at <laughs> But I'm glad it's not called God left me there because he makes a promise deeper, right. and then God is still a promise keeping God. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it amazing that, that any time that God says he's going to do something, he does it? Yeah. Isn't it amazing that the things I don't have is because God didn't give them to me? Yeah. Isn't it amazing that any time the covenant is broken, I did it? Yeah. He says, then will I sprinkle clean water on you. Yeah. And I love this part. He says, and you shall be clean. Yeah. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness yes, sir. and from all your idols. Yeah. I, 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 I think we all are okay with God cleaning us of our filthiness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I think sometimes we get a little possessive with our idols. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, some of y'all keep idols at home. The ornithology things, you know, bird things, gray goose. <laughs> Wild turkey. Hint a sea. Sometimes we want to hold on to some of those things. But God says that he will cleanse you from all. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what I like about God is his all is not my all. Yeah. I said it this morning. God's all is a perpetual all. Yes, sir. It's like getting a ticket to be able to go to the laundry whenever you want. Yeah. You don't have to keep on dirty clothes. 
that God is standing there as a maitre d' waiting to receive from you what you're willing to give to him. Yeah. He said, I will cleanse you from your filthiness and all your idols. The sin and corruption mentioned to the people of Israel by Ezekiel would be cleansed only by God. Yes. I, I want to share with you, mama them can't clean. Right. Daddy can't clean. Getting a new man won't cleanse you. Getting a new woman won't cleanse you. Only God Amen. can cleanse us. Amen. How do you know? Because Deacon Hart has a passage of scripture. It says that if you confess your sin, ah, yes, sir. that he is faithful and just yeah. to forgive you of your, we in church, yeah. you ain't even got to tell nobody. You can just have a little talk with God. Say he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin. And then God goes the extra mile. He said, I will cleanse you yeah. of all unrighteousness. I'm glad that I can come to a place where God I don't have to tell nosy people what I did. I just have to tell a loving God. Yeah. And he says, I will cleanse you. Yeah. Uh, 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 watch this. He, he is cleansing them from the work that he talked about in verses 16 and 17 in this same chapter. If your Bible open, it's there. It says, then this further message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, when the people of Israel were living, in their own land, they defiled it by the evil way they live. Yeah. I raised both of my hands. Yeah. Uh, yes, not, not in praise, but in surrender. Yeah. There were times I was so far away from the will of God. Yeah. Did not think about the work of God and did not study the word of God. Yeah. But I'm glad that God had me yeah. on his mind yeah. when I didn't have him on my mind. Amen. He said, watch the text, watch the text. Son of man, when the people of Israel were living in their own land, they defiled it by the evil way they lived. To me, their conduct was unclean. Yes. Watch this, as a woman's menstrual cloth. You mad right there. He, he says that all of the impurity of their body was flowing out. Yeah. Somebody know that we, we have overindulged in things and, 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 and it came up out. So somebody sit here with, with, with that gray goose sweating about their pores oh, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> They polluted the land with murder and worship of idols. So I poured out my fury on them. I'm glad that God had a way of bringing me back and it wasn't always come. Yeah. God had to put some stumbling blocks. He had to chastise me. But I'm glad that as I study his words, Sister Yvonne Tom, it said he only chastised those he loved. Yes, sir. Amen. God don't whoop other people's children. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But he's going to punish all of his creation. But he don't whoop other folks' children. That's why it looked like they're getting away. That's why he say, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Yes, he let you know in due season, I'm going to reel them in. I, I don't have to be on the get back. Because I heard God say, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Yeah. That's me. I don't have to cuss because you cuss. I don't have to fight because you fight. I don't have to get up on Facebook and out you. I don't have to do any of that. I thank God that he is God. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I love this. See, all we can provide for one another is a mere covering to sin. Uh -huh. and, and, and it's accomplished back in their time through imperfect sacrifices of the Old Testament. But a true cleansing of sin is only completed by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Amen. You you do remember David, don't you? Yes, sir. The yeah. son of Jesse. You do know David, don't you? The yeah. one that was in the field when everybody else was in the parade. Yeah. Yeah. You do know David, don't you? Yeah. He's the one that was on the high place, looked yeah. low and found a woman, brought her in, sinned with her. Oh. Then he had to kill her husband and the baby died. You do know David, don't you? He's the one that had a slingshot and fought a giant. You yeah. do know David, don't you? He's the one that ran from Saul and also ran from his son. But here's what David said 
Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, yeah. yeah. According to the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgression. Yeah. David says this, wash me thoroughly yeah. from my iniquity. Yeah. Cleanse me from my sin. You do know David, yeah. Yeah. he says, for I acknowledge my transgression yeah. and my sin is ever before me. Yeah. You know David, he says, against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thy mightest be justified when thy speakest and clear with thy judging. You know David, don't you? Yeah, that's Jesse's boy. He's the one that said, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I'll be whiter than yeah. snow. Make me to hear the joy and gladness that thy bones which yeah. have been broken and they may rejoice. Yeah. David, I close when he's saying this. Hide thy face from my sin and blot out yeah. mine iniquity. Yeah. 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 Push David one more time. He said, create in me a clean heart of God and renew in me. I feel my help with right spirit within me. This reference of cleansing by the clean water in the New Testament is the purging of my sin by the blood of Christ and the guiding of my life by the spirit of the living God. Anybody know that God will guide you? God will walk you to new places, new heights. Anybody know that David said, order my steps? Yeah. Huh? He said, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Oh, y'all sit down. The steps of a good woman are ordered by the Lord. Uh, he said he delighted. He delighted in his way. Every once in a while, you should get a hallelujah at church, I'm saying. He said he delighted in his way. Here's the part that helps me. He said, though he fall, I fall in like the little lady on the commercial. And I wasn't able to get up. But I'm glad that God picked me up. He washed me off. Planted my feet on solid ground. Anybody know that God will pick you up? Anybody know that when mama never won't come see about you, daddy disgusted in you, that God will show up and come and get you? I thank God that he's God. I thank God that the promise of cleansing, yeah. that he's going to wash my filth away. Yeah. Oh, praise yes, his holy name. Yes, From all your filthiness. Why, why sit down? I, 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 I'm quick, but not that fast. Uh, from all your filthiness will I cleanse you. Yeah. Look, look, look at the apostle John, and this is what he says. John says, and these things I write unto you. That your joy may be full. Well. This is then the message we have heard of him. And declare unto you on your way to your house, Deacon Huck, that God is light. Yeah. And in him there is no darkness at all. Yeah. And if we have fellowship with him yeah. and walk in darkness, yeah. we lie and do not the truth. Yeah. But if we walk in the light, Oh, yeah. As he is in the light, oh, yeah. we have fellowship one with another. Yeah. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us yeah. from all sin. Yeah. If we say we have no sin, yeah. we deceive ourselves. Yeah. And there is no truth in us. Oh. But here's your first deep in heart. If we confess our sin, yeah. can I get a hallelujah right yeah. there? If I confess my sin, he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Child of God, there's a mandatory cleansing that's going on in the household of faith. And that's the reason this can't be lip service, but it has to be life service. Lord, give me the heart the life, the love to serve. Yeah. Ezekiel had challenges, but he had a heart to serve God. Yeah. You and I have our personal challenges. Yeah. We have some struggles. Yeah. We have trials and tribulations. Oh, yeah. We have some ups and some downs. Yeah. We have some mountains yeah. and some valleys. Yeah. But I'm glad that God is a promise keeper. Yeah. That he promised to cleanse me. Yeah. I'm glad that God will cleanse me. Yeah. I'm glad that I don't have to stay the way I was. Yeah. And I don't even have to remain the way I am. Yeah. 
He moves from the promise of cleansing so we can receive, watch this, verse 26, the promise of connecting. Yeah. Verse 26 says this, a new heart also will I give you, yes, sir. and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Yes. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Yes, sir. I'm grateful that God didn't just clean me yes, to leave me. God cleans me so he can connect with you. You do know he has to cleanse you first because he said, I am holy and therefore you must be holy. God is not just going to leave you the way he found you. You know, sometimes folk we think love us until we get so dirty and so low that they turn their back and walk away from you. But that's when God walks towards you. I'm glad that I never got too dirty for my mama to change my diaper. And when I got too old to wear diaper, I'm glad she introduced me to a God that would change my heart. I'm glad that when I was low, down, and dirty, that God cleansed me. And then he connected with me. He didn't say, go on your way. But he says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Yes, rest unto your soul. Yes. Take and learn of me. Yes. For I am meek and lowly of heart. Yes. Ain't you glad that when you couldn't reach up, yes. that God reached down. Yes. I'm glad when I couldn't get to him, he came to see about me. Yes. God will connect yes. with his people. I'm glad, remember what Jeremiah said. I will give them a heart to know for I am the Lord, yeah. and they will be my people, yeah. and I will be their God, yes, sir. and they will return to me. Yeah. God is asking somebody to come back closer with him. He says, with their whole heart, yeah. and we will never serve the Lord in the beauty of holiness until we have the transformative move of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Jeremiah says later in the 32nd chapter, in the 38th verse, he said, and they shall be my people. Yes, Ain't that good news yes, that God shows up yes. when I'm dirty and low down yeah, yeah. and he looks beyond my faults. Oh, pray his name. And he saw my knees. I thank God that he's not like me. For God so loved the world that God gave the perpetual gift of his son. He says that I will give them one heart in one way that they may fear me forever. And that fear means reverence him, honor him, glorify him for the good of themselves yes, and their children after them. God says, oh, if you live right, yeah. then I'll call glory. your children yes, to live right. Yes, Somebody ought to say, thank God, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. that he's able to change my children's oh, yeah. DNA. Oh, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that they don't have to be like me, yeah. that God will fix them oh, yes, before they even get broke. Oh, yeah. Somebody ought to say, thank God. Thank God. God says he will connect with us. Yes. God says he will connect with us. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say it one more time because somebody act like you don't believe. Amen. You can't get so down, dirty, low that God won't connect That's with right. you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He says, though your sins be as scum, Huh? He says he will have them white as snow. Yes, yes, and though they be red as crimson, oh, yes, he said he'll make them look like lamb's wool. Yes, Somebody ought to say, praise God. God's chemistry. Look, uh, I'm a chemistry major with the Lord. Watch this. God can take black sand, put a drop of red blood on it, and turn it white as snow. That's chemistry right there. That's the best chemistry you won't get. That God can change a sinner into a saint. I'm glad in these three, 253 days of our study of a journey of a lifetime, I'm going to really, truly feel and see the transformative work 
of the Holy Spirit. My cry, your cry, must be, Lord, give me the heart to serve you. Lord, give me the heart to serve you. I thank God for the cleansing. Thank God for the connecting. But here's what I thank God for. The promise of correction. Amen. Verse 27. I'm gone. I got four minutes. He says, and I will put my spirit within you. Why? You can get, come on up. I'm done for real. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Yes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. Yes, sir. What he's saying is, I cleanse you. I connected with you. And now I'm correct. Amen. Amen. And they write me this. He says, I cleanse you. Yeah. I connected with you. Yeah. And now I correct you. Yeah. God's order is different than anybody. He says, I, I, I washed you. Yes, sir. And now I want you. Yeah. But I got to put my will in you. Yeah. Watch this. He says, a new heart and a new spirit you'll put in. Jesus refers this to his finished work on Calvary. Yes, this is what it says. What he did on Calvary is manifested in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if Christ be in any man, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away in the whole. All things become new. The newness that comes from Christ comes with a great responsibility, child of God. Paul presses on in 2 Corinthians 6, chapter, verse 17. Here he said, Wherefore come out from amongst them, yes, and be ye separate, yes. saith the Lord. Yes. Touch not the unclean things, and, ye, and I will receive you, yes. and I will be your father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, yeah. saith the Lord Almighty. Yeah. Here again, I said, Lord, give Lord. me yes, a heart to serve. Yeah. After the cleansing, salvation, comes the connection, being born again. Then God requires my correction. That's the process of sanctification. Come go with me, if you will, to the Via Dollar Rose. And a waiting cross for a waiting Savior. I know Calvary's on the way, so let me run by them. I thank you, Lord, for the willing workers of this church. I thank you as we begin to evolve into the church you want us to be. I thank you that the doors are open and people are still coming. I ask you, God, to continue to protect them. Give us strength for our journey, oh God. Give us wisdom for our decisions, oh God. But most of all, keep giving us mercy for our mistakes, oh God. Give us grace for our gifts, oh God. I thank you, God, that Paul said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation yeah. and took upon him the form of a servant yeah. and was made in the likeness of me yeah. and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient even to death, the death of the cross. Let, let, let me give you this picture and we're going to prepare ourselves to go. On that Rugged mountain stood three crosses. Yes, sir. And here's what I love about him. That, that he got in the middle. Yes, sir. You missed it. Yeah. When, when trouble arises, the Lord gets in the, in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. He doesn't try to run to the left or to the right. When I look up on the crosses, he is in the middle. So, 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 so always honor the man in the middle. Watch this. There's a man to his left. There's a man to his right. When we come to church, we either come as a person on the left or a person on the right. But he's always willing to get in the middle. See, see, when he was dying, the one on the left, he was a blasphemer. Yes, he had the audacity to say, if you be God. Yes, the man on the right 
He was a believer. Amen. He says, you are God, for you die like no other man. The man in the middle, he was my benefactor. You're going to get this in a minute. The man on the left, he died in foolishness. The man on the right, he died in faith. The man in the middle, he died in fulfillment. You, you'll get this in a minute. The man on the left, he died in grief. The man on the right, he died in grace. The man in the middle, he died in glory. Y'all gonna catch me in a minute. The, the man on the left, he died as a conniver. The man on the right, he died in kindness. The man in the middle, he didn't die because he the king of things. You gonna get it in a minute. The man on the left, he died mocking. The man on the right, he died in mercy. The man in the middle, he died ministry. You will get it in a minute. I'm almost done. The man on the left, he died in rejection. The man on the right, he died in reception. The man in the middle, he died for my redemption. You almost got it. I'm almost out of here. The man on the left, he died in sin. The man on the right, he died from sin. The man in the middle, he died for my sin. Y'all will get it. I'm, I'm out of here for this. The man on, on, the, on the left here, he died a sinner. The man over here, he died a saint. My God died because he my savior. But he didn't stay dead. I see you over at the place. Most early, Sunday morning, he got up with all power. He got power to help me in my weak day. He got power to cleanse me in my wicked day. He got power. He got power. You know he got power. He got all power in his hand. In his hand, all power. Amen. 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 As we stand today on ministry day, realizing that God still has applications for assignments. And my prayer is that you have filled out your application. You know your assignment. And you're working to fulfill that assignment for the Lord. We don't even need another song. We don't even need another song. The songs are not what we need. Amen. God needs another servant. Amen. God needs another servant. Amen. We do well with songs. Yes. But the question is, do we do well serving? Yes, Amen. What is God going to say to you? Hmm. When all this stuff is over, we've finished all of the traditional protocols. Being in church doesn't make you a servant. That's right. That's right. Amen. An assignment that you're working on, am I clear? Mm -hmm. Makes you a servant. Yeah. And, and, and there are levels of servanthood to the Lord. But you've got to know where that assignment came from. I know my assignment. Yeah. I'm not always perfect at it. But I take the evaluation from the Lord when yeah, he tells you. Yeah. Amen. Your, your awareness has to elevate child of God. Because until you become aware, you will never acknowledge. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. In the 25th chapter of Matthew, yes, sir. the 19th chapter of Luke, I know I'm right. It talks about Jesus leaving a sign. And Deacon Hardy, he comes back. He said, after a long time away, he returns. And he calls them in. So they come in. The one who had five talents, the one who had two, and the one who had one. And he began to ask them, okay, what did you do with your assignment? The one who had five talents said, I have five more. Yes, sir. And he says, well done, mm -hmm. thou good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Listen at the term, servant. Mm -hmm. 
Thou have been faithful over a few things. Come on. And I'll make you master over them. So the one with two talents, come here. What you do with it? Got two more. Thou good and faithful servant. Thou been faithful over a few things. Come on. I'll make thee master over them. Right. One person left. Yeah. Called in a servant with the one talent. He said, what did you do? He said, well, you a hard man. You want things that don't even belong to you. He said, you want to harvest what you have not sown. And the Lord looked at him. He said, thou wicked and slowful, listen at the term, servant. They're all servants. But this one has a different adjective. Wicked and slothful, good and faithful. See, some folk good, but they're not faithful. Some folk faithful, they're just not good. Amen. We have to work on this thing. This is work. Amen. And I'm glad there's no music so we can slow down. This is work. Amen. This, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't cute. It's work. You remember what he said? That you have to work when it's day called night cometh when no man work. Yes. So, so he says to him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, and cast him into utter darkness. Don't sit around the church and go to hell. Amen. Amen. Don't do that. Ask God, what is it you have brought me here to do? All of us have at least one gift. Yeah, that's right. Some two, and some five. Mm. Use that gift to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. For that same Jesus who hung there and died, yes, sir. stayed around for 40 days, yes, sir. was seen by the multitude, did many miraculous things, mm. took his disciples and put them in an upper room. Yes, Stepped on a cloud elevator, ascended to be at the right hand of the Father. As he was going up, they, be, they stood there looking up. And that's as far as I can look with all this hardware in my neck. And two men in white apparel showed up. They said, Why yes, gave ye men of Galilee therefore? Yes, yes, yes. The same Jesus mm -hmm. is coming back again. Thank you, man. My Amen. friend, Thank you, Lord. is that God does not catch me and get personal now. Amen. Amen. I'm praying that God does not catch me yes. Amen. with my work undone. Amen. 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 And that's what's left for you. To God be the glory. We offer you the opportunity to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. If you don't know the Lord in the free part of your sin, you can come to the Lord now. You come as a candidate for baptism. You've never been to the redemptive waters. If you've never been cleansed, you come to the redemptive water. Or maybe you've been cleansed. Now it's time for you to allow God to do what He only He can do. After He cleanses, He connects. And maybe it's time for you to reconnect with Him. Reconnect to the responsibility and sign that God has given you. And all you have to do is come to him. You can come to the Lord just as you are. And God will in no wise cast you out. You can come after you've been cleansed. Maybe you've already reestablished your connection. Here's how you know if you have a connection. What is your prayer life look like? What is your devotion life look like? If you're not speaking with him, spending time with him, then you're not connected to him. But here he is. He stands and say, come and be connected to me. Bless your heart, Lord. Doesn't matter if you're at the church. It's folk at the church, just like these three, that, that know you're not connected. And he said, if you're ashamed to own me before man, I'll be ashamed to own you before my Father, which is in heaven. If you know you're not connected, if you know you don't have the inroad, if you know you can't get a prayer through, then come now. Won't you come? And then finally, the last one, he said, maybe you need to come for correction. Ain't nobody moving on this one. Ain't nobody moving saying, Lord, I need to be corrected. Lord, I've been out of order, but Lord, I'm ready to reestablish a relationship with you where you correct me. We all want to be correct, but sometimes we just need to be correct. 
Lord, correct me. Fix me, God. You don't have to be major breaks. You ain't got to be committing adultery. Maybe your break is a small crack. Remember we talked about the Father. He'll put you on the wheel. And he'll fix those things. Maybe you, you, you're just a showpiece for me. And you're sitting up on the rack. And now I'm going to be a worker piece for me. Lord, use me. You don't have to tell me. I ain't going to ask none of them what they're up there for. But it ain't my business. God business. You need to be talking to the one that matters. I'm talking to him for myself. Nobody got an A-game up in here. We've all sinned. We've all come short of his glory. And he says he'll take us back. If my people when you're called by my name, when humble themselves in prayer, that's humbling to come up here. It's not easy to say, I've been in error. And pray, talk to him. And as you're there, talk to him. Have that conversation with him. Just you and God. We don't need to know. It ain't our business. We don't, you don't need no priest. God made you your own high priest. Yes. For when Jesus hung, bled, and died, the veil was torn from the top down to give you access to him. Amen. So as you stand there, you have access to the Thank Father. You, Lord. Thank By way of this son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I stand here in the need of your repentance, waters, and your redemptive heart. Fix me where I'm broken. Please. Remove from me the things that cause me to stump. Remove from me the bigotry and biases that I still carry. Oh God. Help me to have a heart of flesh. Remove the stoniness of doubt and discouragement and despair that creeps in on me, oh God. That I may be a trusted servant of you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for those visible and those virtual. I believe in somebody virtual is laying before God right now and telling God you can have it. Use me to your glory. Somebody's walking away from alcoholism, drug addiction, prostitution, and pandering. Somebody's walking away from being hateful to white folk or hating black folk hating Asian folk. Somebody's walking into the newness of life. Oh, the Lord can't use you as a servant if you want to tell him who you won't serve, when you won't serve, and how you won't serve. Lord, give me the heart, the life, the love to serve you as you have served me. Yeah. Now God, as we stand here, we say thank you. Thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. We acknowledge that you are the Christ. You are he who once was dead, but now is alive forever. Let the church Submit to be our high tower, our rock hewn out of the side of the mountain. Yeah. We yield to thee. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide, guide us into a loving, lasting relationship with him and him only. Yeah. And the people of God said in a triumph, crescendoing way, huh? Ah!